I greet you, ladies and gentlemen, even as I prepare to share a short tutorial demonstration on the ISLM model, specifically on the derivation of the IS curve. As you can see on my board there, I've got a three sector model, which comprises of consumption households which are responsible for consumption spending of C is equal to 100, 0.7 YT, where YT is disposable income. And this YT is equal to Y minus T, where Y is national income and T is the total level of desertion in the economy, which has got a direct relationship with national income explained by the next equation, which is T is equal to 0.4Y. And our investment function I is equal to 190 minus 20 R, which means there's an inverse relationship between the total amount of gross investment and the interest rate in the economy, which can be explained by the marginal efficiency of capital theory or any other theory including the low level funds theory. And then government spending is exogenous. So what we want to do is to derive the IS curve. It is to derive the IS curve. To do that, we first of all resume C, which is equal to 100 plus 0 0.7 factor of y minus 0. I mean our t is 0. 0.4 y and c is equal to 100 plus 0. 0.7 vector of 0. 0.6 y c is equal to 100 plus 0 0.42 y, that is our C. Um, and then next, we recognize that y is equal to C plus i plus C at equilibrium, where y is equal to our C, our new C, we have just calculated, which is 100 plus 0 0.42 y plus investment, which is 190 minus 20 r plus 1000 plus 1000. Y is equal to group like terms together, 1,000 1, plus 100 plus 190 plus 190 plus 0, 0.42 y minus 20 r. And then our next part of cone is to add the constants 1000 plus 100 plus 190, which gives us the next point, which gives us on the next point where I had already done the working. Uh, one, 1000 plus 100 plus 190, that's 0.42 y minus 20 r, it gives us 1290. It gives us 1290 plus 0 0.42 y minus 20 r. 
And then we take 0.42y to the other side, which is shown on this step. And then we remain with 1290 this side, minus 20R. And then we get 0 0.58. And then we divide by 0 0.58 both sides to maintain equality. And we get y is equal to 1290 divided by 0 0.58 minus 20 over 0 0.58 R. And then when we simplify that, we get Y being equal to 2224.138 minus 34.483 R. So we see that our IS curve, our IS curve, our IS curve, is a negatively sloped function. Our IS curve is a negatively sloped function. It is negatively sloped, as we can see, with a gradient of 34.48 uh, R, and then intercept, vertical intercept of 2224.4. So I hope you benefited from this short demonstration. Have a good night. Or wherever you are, might be during the day, have a good day.